Hello, Namaskar, Sasrikal, and Salam to everyone. Welcome to Captain Classes. And uh, today I'm going to teach you about the uh, few messages I've already talked about, but there is a different condition. So uh, today uh, I'm going to discuss again the distress and urgency messages, but now you don't will not be having a contact with ADC. <clears throat> So in many conditions you can say in RVSM also in weather deviation also we can have no contact with ATC while requesting or while contacting ATC you may find that there is no contact with ATC in that case or uh, it, the question itself says that there is no contact with ATC so in that case what we have to do we have to broadcast that message so in this video I'll go, I'm gonna tell you the uh, format how to uh, broadcast that message and uh, with, the, with the example. So I'll take the example of the last video, second last video in, on which I have uh, already taken an urgency and uh, this uh, distress uh, uh, format. So I'll just convert those formats or you can say the four, uh, those example into the, uh, this format in which you don't have any contact with ATC. So let's uh, find out the uh, format in which it is uh, I've already written on the board. Let's find out what are the changes so let's find out the first we'll go to the mayday condition and in mayday first is mayday 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 it's simple it's same like uh, the normal condition but in the case of station called if you uh, check the uh, distress condition or you can say distress format the normal format so i have written the station called but here the station called is not in contact so i'll broadcast this message so for broadcasting you have to say all station all station so i'll say all station all station but which stations so i have to say in the vicinity of the position so uh, in this case i'll say all station all station in the vicinity of position means your position in uh, position in which you are so you don't have to give position in the whole format what we do in the normal position given point uh, will give position in terms of DME only so no need to say to from you will say you have to say only in the vicinity of 25 DME bravo bravo papa for example so what you have to do is just write down the in the vicinity of what distance and <clears throat> around which uh, we are or whatever it is in any navigation points station calling is always your call sign on frequency you, here you can see three frequencies I have written so working frequency will be the same frequency on which you had you had negative contact with ADC means that you have to use the same ATC unit units frequency which you tried to contact but you had negative contact so in this uh, part you have to give that frequency and second frequency is one to one decimal five which is emergency frequency I think uh, most of you have already know about emergency frequency there it is one to one decimal five is the emergency frequency and one to three decimal four five I have already discussed this uh, I have already used this uh, you can say the frequency in the other format also if you remember in the weather deviation uh, when we had uh, uh, you can say when the ATC uh, doesn't approve my uh, you can we have asked for deviation and ATC uh, doesn't approve my deviation in that case we contacted the uh, traffic and while contacting the traffic the frequency I have used was this so this was or you can say this is the interpilot frequencies so this is the interpilot frequency emergency frequency and the working frequency so one by one we have to broadcast this message on each frequencies so working frequency on um, in the area the area in which you are flying your transmitting or you can say broadcasting in that frequency emergency frequency in case some or many of the stations ground station have already tuned into uh, working or you can say sorry uh, emergency frequency they can get the uh, information about your distance message and one two three decimal four five which is the uh, interpilot frequency if any pilot on ground on in air if uh, have switched this frequency then or monitoring this frequency then get he can also get the information about your distress now type of aircraft type of aircraft is very important while giving his distress on any kind of uh, this messages uh, or you can say when you have no contact with ATC because when the uh, when suppose uh, I'll, I'll come to this point uh, because this is related to another point 
uh, which is which comes at the last so i'll come to this point again so type of the aircraft you whatever type of the aircraft you are flying you have to put this uh, in this point the condition will be the aircraft whatever the condition you are facing for example engine number failure uh, which i have taken in the last example also of uh, distress message so you can put the condition whatever the condition you are facing and the only intention what we do in mayday situations or distress situation is welcome as emergency landing at the nearest aid room so whatever the nearest aid room is uh, as per your current position you have to land at that airport so we will say the near, uh, we have to come or will come in some emergency landing at nearest aid room don't say the nearest aid room give the name of the airport don't say the nearest aid room i have already told you this thing about in the distress phase or distress messages also don't ever say nearest aid room the examiner will uh, obviously get angry on you because you cannot say nearest aid room you have to tell atc where you want to land where which is the uh, appropriate or the suitable area for the condition of the aircraft so nearest aid room you have to put the or you have to give the nearest aid room's name that's why i have already written in the bla uh, bracket so nearest aid room you have to write down the name of the aid room then position uh, position is a spoken word and then po give position in terms of dme not even mile time flight level route the same format you have to use then person on board heading a fuel on board so person on board will be taken for as per your uh, type of aircraft heading can be taken uh, as per your position and the route you are following you have to find out your heading fuel on board fuel on board can be taken hypothetically there is no way to put uh, fuel on board so fuel on board can be taken hypothetically then last line is all exterior lights switched on keep a lookout that means to distinguish my aircraft because you cannot see the aircraft uh, which is having made a or distress condition unless it gives you a signal because uh, you cannot go close to that aircraft you know you cannot go uh, go close to that aircraft and find out yes this is the uh, this is the, this is the same registration or you can say this is the aircraft which is having an emergency or this is space so you have to give a visual indication from so that the uh, aircraft which is far away from your position can easily identify your aircraft so you you put all the exterior lights switched on and you say you say all exterior lights switched on i have already switched on the exterior lights whatever the exterior lights are and keep a lookout so the whatever the whoever flying in that area will be looking around and finding out whether that aircraft or this this aircraft your aircraft is flying around them or not so this will help you and this type of aircraft is also help in this case because if you say my aircraft is boeing 777 so in that case he can easily identify yes okay the all exterior lights switched on yes this aircraft is having the uh, lights are switched on okay this aircraft is also having switched on lights and uh, what type of aircraft he, the the other the that aircraft has given so that was boeing 777 so you can by visually you can at least at least identify this yes okay this is the boeing 777 so i am i am looking at the correct aircraft so this is how your mayday condition will be or the format of the mayday condition and this whole message you have to transmit again on 1 to 1 decimal 5 again on 1 to 3 decimal 4 5 so this is a quite long you can say uh, uh, transmission but there is a way to sh make it short so i'll tell you in the next video or so that's not a big deal you have to write down uh, write read back on 1 to 1 decimal 5 and again you have to write down read back on uh, 1 to 3 decimal 4 5 so that's obviously same that that works in exam uh, you can say you don't have to write each and every point or you can say the full uh, format or full um, uh, transmission again for simply just to change your frequency so no need to write down each and every point just say, uh, just read or you sorry just uh, write read back on 1 to 1 decimal 5 after this completion 1 to 1 decimal 5 and then read back on 1 to 3 decimal 4 5 don't say at the time of exam read back on 1 to 3 1 to 1 decimal 4 5 or 1 to 3 decimal 4 5 the the read back should be the action but you have written that i have did this action so you have to transmit three times but 
you have you don't have to write on the exam or you can say question paper on such answer sheet that you uh, the whole time a uh, whole message in three times so i'll be in the three frequencies so you have to write down you have to write down in a, on a simple way you have to write down once and then just say write down read back on one to one and read back on one to three as much for let's go to pan pan situation so in pan pan situation again the first point is pan 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 all station all station in the vicinity of uh, position in dme only same as we have done in mayday station calling same on frequency same working frequency 1 to 1 decimal 5 1 to 3 decimal 4 5 same type of aircraft same conditions same now here i have given position because i have already told in the in the distress and mayday condition other than the mayday or you can say distress we will use cpi first you have to give position sorry condition then position then intention but in mayday you have to give condition first then intention then position cip for mayday cpi for other other kind of uh, messages or other conditions so in this we have given position then position in terms of same tme position time flight level route etc intention so intention will be request landing at nearest room that could be your uh, uh, you can say your intention but it can be changed or it can change in few uh, formats i'll discuss uh, for example the rvsm and the weather division we have a, a different kind of uh, intention so uh, we will discuss in that part in the next video as also i'll be discussing the rvsm or the weather division part so intention in this the other cases i'll i'm taking uh, and the example i take in that example, I have to land at nearest aero. room. So intention, you can say request landing at uh, nearest aero, room and, uh, and request relay this message to AC ATC. It means if any of the uh, aircraft or any station, ground station, if, uh, if any of the aircraft has uh, observed your monitored your message, in that case it can request or uh, it can relay this message to ATC and you'll get some kind of help or ATC will be informed about your uh, position and your intention and whatever it is you will uh, he'll be taking care of the other things see okay? so and the last is all exterior switched on keep a lookout same we have to say the reason is same in both the cases we have to distinguish uh, ourselves or we have to make yourself uh, look different from the uh, other traffic so <clears throat> that's why we are uh, putting all exterior lights switched on and uh, Yes, type of aircraft we have to mention in the same way. Yeah. Okay. So this is uh, the format of both the cases. I will be taking the example of both the cases. In the same, uh, you can say the condition which I have taken in the distress and urgency video. So the condition will be same. The format will be same. Or oh, sorry, the flight plan will be same. But uh, I will be using the condition will add one condition will add that uh, there is no contact contact with ATC. And I'll use this format in that example. In both the cases, I'll take both the cases. So let's find out the example and let's see how it goes. So now I'll uh, I'll discuss. I'll tell you about the example and I'll I'll take you on the same example or you can say the same topic which was the urgency and distress phase. And that example, I'll convert that normal contact example of normal contact into the contact where you have no contact with ATC, obviously. So in this, I have uh, you can if you have seen my videos, the last video, second last video, uh, you will find out I have already discussed this example. But this is normal example; is it doesn't have any no contact or other additional condition. So it has a normal mayday and uh, pan pan condition. You can see here uh, the example I've taken is same, and uh, the same uh, destination and departure is Delhi to Hyderabad. Uh, Call sign of the aircraft is I fly 9R68. Time is 2120, which is obviously a UTC time. And route is whiskey 20 uh, south, Bravo Papa Lima. And whiskey 20, I guess this portion is not visible from the uh, angle uh, the aircraft, uh, the camera is installed. So this is whiskey 20. I am trying to uh, hold this area. But I'll risk it 2-0 and then uh, flight level is 3-1-0 and 3-2-0. They have taken two flight level because 
uh, I have not I have taken this is the example I have I've got in the exam exam or you can say the um, the mock papers why it is two, two uh, flight levels it is given because of the heading I might be changing changing in somewhere in the road so I have to take care of the heading that I'm if you have seen my videos that uh, why I have taken two headings and what is easterly and westerly heading you will be easily find out why it is there 310 and 220320 if you have not seen my previous video or the in the video I have uh, already discussed the easterly heading and westerly heading please go through my all the videos so that you can clear all the concept of RTRA so I have taken flight level 310 and 320 or you can say I, I got two flight levels and uh, type of aircraft is A320 that means Airbus 320 the condition is uh, the position of the aircraft is same in both the cases uh, in both the cases it is 25 nautical mile from Bhopal in this case also in this case also the condition is different so in this case uh, you observed a fire on engine number one and in this case your co-pilot fainted this condition is normal condition where the, we have the normal contact with the ATC but now I have, I'll add one line which will be in this case no contact with ATC in this case also I'll say no contact with ATC so now I'll convert this normal example or normal uh, transmission into uh, emergency or you can say uh, where no contact with ATC we have so in this case this will be no uh, all station all station in the vicinity of 25 DME Bravo Papa Lima in this case also I will have to change this portion all station all station in the vicinity of 25 DME Bravo Papa Lima I will not say inbound outbound to or from because this is not required in this case in this uh, 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 you can say in this portion it is not required to tell which uh, where, whether it is to or from and I, uh, I fly 968 on 123 decimal liner or it could be 121 decimal 5 and it will be 1, 2, 3, decimal 4, 5 ok so I will write all the frequencies here but it will be one by one I have to transmit on each frequency scope I will find the condition position you have given the position request landing at Gopal and additionally there will be request relay message to a T C okay and that last will be all exterior lights switched on keep a look out so this will be the can uh, the whole transmission so now it will go like pan 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 all station all station in the vicinity of 25 DME Bravo Papa Lima I fly 968 on 123 decimal 9 for the first uh, transmission you can say co-pilot fainted position 25 DME from Bravo Papa Lima 2220 flight level 310 and uh, whiskey 20 request landing at Bhopal request relay message to ATC or XCLI switched on keep a look out so this will be the our transmission and you have to say the same message on 121 uh, decimal 5 and 123 decimal 45 so you have to transmit the same message with the different frequencies these frequencies ok so you have to continuously transmit all the things now in this case I will change what I have to change is uh, this is same this is same 25 ok and this point I will write in uh, in the one in one sentence only heading 170 fuel 1 ton 
Okay. Well, we don't sing. All exterior lights switched on. Keep a look out. And again, you have to transmit the same on three frequencies: one to one decimal five, one to three decimal four five. Okay, so which is uh, one to one is emergency, and one to three decimal four five is obviously a interpilot frequency. Okay, one point I am I am missing in this, which is you have to add one more point, which is which will be your type of aircraft. So you have to say Airbus three two zero in this case also, and after frequency is in this case also Airbus. Three two zero. So this becomes your five point five point six seven eight nine ten, and this will be eleven. In this case also, it will be five. This becomes six seven eight nine ten and eleven. So uh, this is the example we can say, and. Uh, Everything is same, almost. Almost you can say uh, the data is same, but I have added four or uh, three two points. I have added in this instead of uh, station call. I have uh, said I said station calling uh, type of aircraft. I have added and uh, all X L I S is on keeper record. I have added and uh, everything is same. In this case also everything is same almost, uh, but I have added. Uh, uh, Airbus 320. This all station, all station, and position is same. Request landing relay. I have added. What is my intention? But what I am requesting? I I request landing at Bhopal, and I am requesting you means the stations, all stations, to relay this message to APC. All exterior lights switched on. Keep a lookout. Till then, please keep a lookout uh, because all exterior lights are switched on. So this is the example of. Uh, Mayday and Pan Pan, in which you don't have contact with ATC, but uh, you have to do something. So in that that uh, that case, you have to do such changes. And uh, I hope this is uh, good or informative for uh, everyone and uh, whoever is watching my videos. And if you have if you are watching my video but didn't subscribe my channel, please go and subscribe my channel. The link is or you can say the button, the subscribe button is. Down and please click on the subscribe and also click on the uh, bell icon so that you'll get the notification whenever I'll put new videos. So you'll be get you'll be updated about my channel. Okay, so I hope this video is good and uh, uh, you can say uh, good enough to get a like. So I hope a like from you guys and also please share this video with all of all of your friends who are from aviation background and trying to give RTR exam and who are giving in this attempt only Mumbai attempt which is uh, if you are giving this attempt please 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 share these videos to them also so that they can utilize this video and then they can help I get some kind of help from these videos on my channel and. Uh, Please, if you haven't subscribed the channel, go and subscribe. Please subscribe and tell all of your friends. Share this channel. And till then, fly high. Take care of yourself. And thank you so much. Have a nice day.